how do you install plugins in Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects? The first thing is, if your plugin format ends in .rsrc, you can do it as follows. You just right click on Adobe Premiere, then right click the icon again, and select properties, then click on open file location. Once you're here, which is basically in local disk C, program files, Adobe, and then Adobe Premiere Pro, go to the folder called plugins, which is this one, and here you just paste the plugin file directly. In this case, it's this one right here. But as you can see, the file I have here is a .zxp, so even if I paste the file into this folder, the plugin doesn't show up in Premiere. So to do this, we're going to use a tool. If you weren't able to install it the way I just showed you and have it show up in Premiere, now you'll go to this page that I've linked in the video description. Click where it says download for Windows or for Mac, depending on your device. And once it's downloaded, we're going to open what this program downloaded. We click on it, and this pops up. We're going to select both, the manager and the installer, and agree to the terms. Now, let's click install. Give it all the permissions it asks for, and it will say that it's starting up. So, let's wait a moment for it to finish installing. Alright, it's finished installing now. Let's click close. And now, let's look for the program we just installed. Click on start, and open this program here the one called ZXP UXP installer, which shows up right here. So click on it and wait for it to load. And once the program is open, let's make sure it's up to date. So we're going to install the latest update so it can install all the extensions we have. Now click install update and wait for it to download. Click install update and grant any permissions it asks for. My screen goes black because it asks for some extra permissions, but once it's installed, We'll have it right here. Now, what we need to do, once it's updated, is go to the folder where we have the plugin, which is this one right here, and simply drag the plugin into the center part of the application, drop it there, and it will say that we're about to install an extension. In this case, it says that the extension works for Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. Depending on which programs the extension is meant for, they'll show up here. In other words, you don't have to choose anything. If the extension is for these two programs, or even for other programs, they'll just appear here. Now we're going to click install, wait for it to finish installing, and here it says that it's finally installed. It also says that to use it, you just need to go to the window menu and then extensions in the compatible applications. So, since I installed it for Premiere, I'm going to open a Premiere tab here. Here, I open a project and just wait for it to load. And once it loads, we can go to the window section. But let's wait for the project to finish loading first. All right, here it is. Let's go to Window, then look for Extensions. And as you can see, the plugin we just installed appears here. So now all that's left is to use it. Mm -hmm.